Good morning guys, Shea Bear here. Check this out. Six vehicles, a U-Haul. Now, that's what gets me. The man sat over there, took his own life. Now, we've been together almost three years. She's been here almost four years in this house. Not once did I ever see anybody over there. She saw a car over there one time. And uh, I've never seen anyone over there, not so much as a neighbor. Nobody. Then this happens, and they're just like a bunch of fucking scavengers. Scavengers over there, you know, just picking through. And let's get what we can get. It's bullshit. You know, all of them people come around now that he's dead. And, uh, you know, when he stuff. But they couldn't come around from New York and stuff. But no, they couldn't come by and visit on Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, New Year's. No, they couldn't do it. On his birthday, no, they couldn't do it. Now they want his shit now that he's gone. You know, I, I, I've got the saying, you know, if you can't come and see me while I'm alive, don't bother coming and see me when I'm fucking dead just to see what you can get your grubby little hands on. That shit right there pisses me off. You know, it's fucking ignorant. People just out for what they can get off of somebody. You know, the man worked all his life. He worked every day. He never missed a day of work, ever, <laughs> that I'm aware of. I've never seen him miss a day of work in, in you know, the almost three years that we've been together. And, uh, you know, and, they, and they're just rummaging through it just like it's, it's nothing, you know. It's bullshit. That's a pretty cool little lamp right there. Some nice wood, nice coloring. Needs a lampshade. Hmm. I got an idea. What do you think? Let's try it. Okay guys, I've got, got this lamp here, it's Monkey's Lamp. I don't know where she got it or how old it is or anything like that. I just know she's had it since we've been together. And uh, I think it had one of them fancy globes on it, but it got broke or something. But I remember it did have something in it. And it did get and it did get broke. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this all apart and I'm gonna clean it up real nice. I'm gonna put a hole in that lid right there. I'm gonna take this off, and that is gonna be our globe. What do you think? I think it'll be alright. So that's what we're going to do. Dang man, we got people with trailers and everything pulling in over there now. Sheesh. Okay, so... get this off of here the guy was a cabinet maker he lived across the street so you know he's got a lot of expensive tools and he had his living room full of cabinets that he was going to redo in his house and he was almost done with them getting ready to put them up and uh, then I guess his wife or girlfriend or whatever had left him she was cheating on him and um, 
and then he just got depressed after that. But like I said, nobody you know, come around. Not once. We've been together almost three years. I think since she's lived here, she's only seen somebody over there like one time. And I've never seen anyone over there, not so much as a neighbor other than me to go over. Talk every once in a while. He'd see me out and he'd toot his horn and wave when he was getting off work on a Friday or whatever. And uh, as he usually Fridays, he came home early, but he never missed a day of work. And it wasn't five minutes later here. He'd come over with a couple beers and he'd sit out here and we'd chit chat. And, you know, he was more than just a neighbor to me. He was a friend. You know, he's the one that gave me that that orange tractor, that Simplicity riding tractor. But now they're just, it's just, you know, they're going just like scavengers. I mean, I know somebody's got to take care of that stuff, but, you know, in that same aspect, I mean, you know, why come around now, you know? You know, if you can't come and see me while I'm alive, please, please, don't make an effort to come see me when I'm dead just to just to see what you can get off of me because I'll haunt your ass so anyway I'm going, there we go, right. it's on the left side, okay. hate to pull that out I'll probably never get it back through but I really want to clean this up real nice but I guess that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna go clean this up and I'll be right back with you okay guys I got my center point here what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a ruler measure out your farthest point make a line then turn it and measure out your farthest point and make a line. But I wasn't coming up center that way, so I just eyeballed it. Uh, it's going to be good enough. And that's, you know, eyeballing it, I came closer, I do believe. I got a slight wobble in my bit. Hopefully, it will be okay. Sure, I don't go clear through the table, and it was looking close. Yeah, I'll be hitting my table. Let me get another shit piece of wood here. All right, this will work. Just to keep me from drilling through the table Let's see that. all right I need a drill press anybody want to donate one I'd be super happy Another thing, guys, that's a wood bit, so make sure that goes in there. Okay, we're good to go there. Now, let me go wash this off, and we'll be back. 
All right, it's time to reassemble this thing. Turns out I didn't have to take this out, but I did. I don't know how they had them, but it's okay. Right? You guys, you see nothing. Still can't see nothing, can you? Smells like citrus in here because I used that stuff there, that orange glow. Two in one, clean and polish. Yeah, whatever. Just tighten this up a little bit here. Now, how did they have these tied? like that guess it doesn't really matter they just time to keep them from uh, keep it from pulling through but this thing ain't gonna pull through no how so been a couple people's birthdays this week one was Emma happy birthday Emma and one was Miss Lottie Da so happy birthday to you both hope you guys had a great day and hope you have a great weekend I think that's right. We'll see momentarily, I guess. Right. Let's just make sure that screws down in there. Let's see if it'll work. like that think it's ugly now I have done similar things like this with mason jars they look pretty cool and there you go let's get a shot of it back here well that's pretty bright huh that's out of the way there you go. 
cute little lamp. Well, I know you can't see it, but it makes a... Let me turn this big light off and I'll show you. It makes a, a neat little design on the ceiling. If y'all can see it. Now nah, you can't see it. But there's the design right there. Whoops. That you're going to see on the ceiling, only it'll be bigger. So, that's pretty cool. I like it. Hopefully, she'll like it. And if she don't, then I'll just go buy her a new globe. Because I do believe I'm the one that broke that globe to begin with. Uh, when we had Hurricane Irma, we was using this light. So, there you go. Kind of cool. Well, there's our light on the counter. I kind of wanted to show you this. What it looks like on the ceiling. Can you guys see that? That design. And if you look around the room, like on the ceiling there. If you look around the room, look at that. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat, huh? And you can put pictures and stuff on that thing. But, it's different. I've seen people on YouTube doing this as well, too. And I remembered I did one, I think it's on video, of that house I lived in in Ohio that I was in the process of remodeling. I was actually restoring it. And, uh, say, so look what it makes down around here and I used a because one of our globes was either missing or got broke from the ceiling fan and I put a mason jar on it and we liked it so we kept it like it but I know a lot of my haters will say well, why would you paint that green for or what why don't you paint it to match that because that's green well because I want it green I want people to know that's a damn pickle jar that's why so there's that okay guys I really liked our light it's fine but it was missing something here's what I've done look at that isn't that cool now if you look in there you'll see little treasures see there's there's gemstones and beads and there's silver in there, and blue, and gold. See that? Let me see if this will help you out any. I don't, know. I don't know if you can see that stuff in there or not, but... See? There's all kinds of jewels and stuff in there. I just thought it... It really added to it, you know. So she's got little treasures in there from some of those uh, that jewelry stuff that was in that big jewelry box we just fixed. Uh, this is stuff that was all homemade stuff, but some of it was just well, 99% of it was just all a bunch of stuff that that had came apart or whatever, just costume jewelry stuff. So. There's what we're looking at there. I think it looks a lot better. And, and as she looks at it, she'll see something different every time inside there. Because I put a bunch of stuff in there. So I think it, I think that kind of adds to it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's very pretty. So, our second project, I thought... Well, monkey wanted me to put that second birdhouse I made for her on a pedestal like on a stand. But, uh, first of all, the only one I've got, the only thing that would work, would only be about this tall once I got it in the ground. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it up here in this tree where she's got all her little flowers and stuff. And that way she can look at it of a morning. You know, when she uh, you know, comes out and goes to work, she can look over at it, see if there's any birds, whatnot in it. And, uh, oh, sorry. So, that birdhouse. 
house. I got the camera. I got the screw gun. I got a screw. I've already got one started. Let's go hang this uh, birdhouse for her. Sorry about the wind. Okay. All right, let's get you set down here. If the wind don't blow y'all over. All right, so I'm going to be reaching. Oh, about right there, I'd say. Hopefully. So I taped the socket on, but I didn't tape the extension on. Let me go grab my magnet. Okay, I taped my magnet on. So I don't lose it. Let me take these back. All right, so that's done. You guys see it? There's that. Now, let's get into another project or something real quick before she gets home. Whew. Because I like to spend some time with her when she gets home, so. Okay, so we're going to put a little air in this tire on this tractor, and we're going to put some air in the tire on the car. So, I went out to pull the tractor around here, and I went to get up on the tractor, and my foot slipped off of this when I stepped up here because of this I stepped up here and I slipped and down I went Well, Bruno he was sitting there watching me and he jumped and his ears popped up and he was watching and looking but you know he just always watched me because he thinks he's gonna go for a ride and then he was just like looking and all once he come to attention but he didn't bark or nothing or asked me if I was okay he must have knew but uh, well in fact you know what I got it on camera, I think, and I'll check it out and see if uh, see if I got it. And if I do, I'll throw it in for you right now.
but yeah, that was kind of funny. I guess. I mean, it just. Ah, yeah, well, you do, you know, shit's gonna happen, and it's too much, but it's got a slow leak, so I don't know if I got enough to go over to the car. Let's see. Uh, we might have now. I'm not, I'm not gauging this because it's not like we're gonna be driving it down the road or anything. It's just so we can move it around. Uh, There she goes. The car's dirty. I need to clean it. I need to wash it and clean it before before I sell it, but I've got it listed on Craigslist, so if somebody wants it for parts or fix up, they can. Uh, I think that's good enough just to move it around. So, so it wasn't really a project, but at least we got that done anyway. Had the scooter out. That's a pretty little thing when it's cleaned up. I like it. Kind of looks cool. But I need to get this painted. So, it's not really rusting out as you can see. I mean, it's kind of rusty, but it's not really rusting out. It's from, you know, the sun and everything. Just eating, just chipping the paint up. Uh, I may paint the whole thing, or just maybe, you know, the decking part of it there. That's also known as a deck area, but... And this hood, I'm betting I could probably rub that out. So, we'll just have to see. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it on this one right here, and uh, like I said, Monkey be getting home here in a little while, so just want to say thanks for watching, you guys have a safe weekend, uh, it's Friday the 13th, and it's Friday the 13th weekend, so a lot of people like to party, they throw parties, uh, whatever, just be safe, and uh, you know, stay away from the ghost, so, or, what was the guy's name, Jason, the guy with the mask and the big old machete, alright, I will see y'all later, hey, a little quiz for you, who did the killing in Friday the 13th, the first one, part one, who did the killings, answer in the comments below, and I'll let you know who's right, alright, Shea Bear Myth, Man Legend, thanks for watching, I'm gone for now, bye bye guys, take care.